Hey everybody, how's it going today? We're gonna do something a little bit different. We're in the recording studio. Yeah, it looks a little bit different. I'll explain that in a different video. But today, I got a guitar in hand, obviously. I have a 100 watt Marshall amp here, a Valve State 100. I bought this in the 1990s when I was in bands. Uh, you needed a lot of volume to keep up with the drums when you're practicing. And of course you took this Stella and 412 bottom when you went to go play somewhere because you know you had to look cool anyway but it's um it's sitting around and it's getting scratchy like the volume are... you can hear it cutting out the volume's cutting out so we're gonna, take it up. we're gonna take it apart today we're gonna try to clean it up and make this style usable again but it sounds wonderful eh? <laughs> But it's all scratched up and scratchy, so we're going to try to get rid of all that, all the noise that comes with the scratchy pots. Oh, I lost, I lost all the volume right now. So let's take it apart and try to fix it and see what's inside. So I pulled the amp out of the amp rack there and I'm going to take it apart. I've got my drill here and it takes like a Phillips bit. We're going to clean it with uh, electronic contact cleaner. It has a little straw. Hopefully we'll be able to get at the potentiometers and see if we can't get some juice in there and clean it up. Looks like it's six screws on top so let's give it a go. One more screw left. I want to support the weight of it here. It should come free now. There's some movement. Here it comes. Okay. Let's see if I can't pull this thing out of here. And we're out. Oh, it looks like I can get at that. Let's um, I'll bring the camera over here and I'll give you a closer look and show you what we're looking at here. So here we are looking at the back of the amp. It's out. These are the potentiometers. Where well, These are the potentiometers that are all scratchy all along here. You can tell from the other side. I still have the knobs on, so that's cool. But we got lucky. We got lucky. Looks like right here on each one of these pots we'll be able to put our solution our contact cleaner in there we'll squirt it in we'll give them a few turns squirt some more in and see if we can't get the debris out of there to get this thing scratch free so let's get the contact cleaner out and give it a go okay so here's the, the hole we're going after right here and then put some contact cleaner in there I'll do a couple of them and I'll squirt some juice in. Now, I want to try to loosen them up here. I'm just kind of spinning them all back and forth. So I get the contact cleaner all inside of there. I'm going to continue to do all the potentiometers in the amp one after another. And I'm going to dry it off and then I'm going to do it again. And then we'll hook this thing up and see if it's scratch free. So I'm going to continue on all down the line here and get all of these pots done. And we'll see how it goes. All the potentiometers have been cleaned. There's the single tube. It's a 12AX7 a tube. That's why it's called a valve state because it's all solid state except for the preamp tube, which is this fella right there. And there's your spring reverb right below. So let's put the chassis back in and we'll see if we did anything. Hey, this is pretty cool. I got uh, an inspection tag inside of the, of the chassis here and it has a date of, let's see if it unblurs for a second. Stop being blurry. 1991. Signed by some dude and it was tested and it was certified for Canada in 1991. That's when this amplifier was built. It's an English thing. Anyway, I put contact cleaner in all of the potentiometers and gave them a good spin. I also did all of the 
click buttons as well. So I'm going to put this thing back together and see if we're working. I decided to pull all the knobs off and spray contact cleaner in the pots. Um, just where the shaft is here and see if I can't get it a little cleaner. So I'm going to proceed to take all the rest of the knobs off and spray contact cleaner in all the shafts as well. I plugged it back in, turned it on, and it's humming. I can hear it working. I got volume. Let's see if it's scratchy. No, so far. switch and I'll go over to the boost channel. fixed up and sounding great thanks tune in next time